Justin Fields has without a doubt taken his last snap as the quarterback for the Chicago Bears. The Bears are likely going to draft Caleb Williams with the first overall pick, and Justin Fields has been rumored to be the next quarterback for the Steelers, the Falcons, and even the Raiders with his Chicago Bears offensive coordinator, Luke Getze, who is now the OC for the Raiders. So Justin Fields is going to be in a new spot. So with that being said, I decided to take a look at his last ever start for the Chicago Bears. It obviously came in week 18 against division rival Green Bay Packers, who were, you know, a hot team at that point. They rolled into the playoffs, even won a playoff game. So let's get into it. Let's see how he fared in his very last game as a Chicago Bear. All right, first play here, nothing too crazy. Justin Fields here does a nice job of manipulating this underneath zone defender with his eyes. Looks him off to the left, okay, just enough to open up the passing window for this tight end and this little sit route right here. You'll see what I mean uh, when I press play here. See, takes a snap, looking left, looking left, snaps back to the right, hits his tight end over the middle for a nice gain to open things up. And you can see it even better from this um, angle right here. Check out Justin Fields' eyes right here. Looking left, looking left, looking left, snap back. Boom. Nice play to open things up. Next play here, got a little pistol boot action rolling out to the left. It's always hard for a you know, right-handed quarterback to roll out left and still deliver an accurate ball. And Justin Fields does that right here again. Rolling out to the left, got to flip them hips and deliver a ball. And he does a nice job of doing it um, with a defender, obviously bearing down on him. Um, this guy right here, again, right? Like, got to flip the hips and we got to make an accurate throw. We got to fit this thing in here over top of this guy and in front of the receiver right there. You know, anything else, you know, this receiver, or excuse me, this DB could have made a play on it. We got this guy coming down on the ball. So, again, we got to put some heat on this thing to get it there before this guy can come downhill and, you know, maybe cause a pass breakup or maybe even pick this thing off. So, again, nice play from Justin Fields. Next play here, just a little two-man concept. We're going to have this guy just running like a deep corner, and then DJ Moore going to sit down in the middle of the field. And he's going to be wide open. Um, but, again, it's just a nice job of Justin Fields processing things and letting the ball go. Like, boom, back foot hits, let that thing rip over the middle. Nice, accurate throw in between this kind of triangle of defenders here. And, you know... Um, Again, like nothing special here. You know, it's a two-man route. It's not like you're asking the guy to perform calculus or anything out there on the field. But again, you'd like to see him hit that back foot. He does take maybe one hitch right there. But again, you know, you can't really complain too much, right? You know, if in a perfect world, maybe he lets that thing go now, okay, instead of taking this hitch. But again, you know, he hits the wide open throw, um, was accurate with it, and they hit an explosive play. Our right, next play here, this is something you really don't like to see. I feel like Fields kind of panics here. And just runs himself into a sack. So start things off. The snap is low, so that definitely affects things. But you know, let's talk about it. You know, we got the Packers are going to send one extra guy, so it's going to be five on five uh, protection. Everybody's accounted for. And you know, initially he's kind of you know relaxed about things. He picks up the drop snap or the low snap, and he's looking, he's looking, but then he kind of panics and again runs into the sack. But you can see um, DJ Moore is going to come open on this deep dig. Um, down the field if he could just kind of hang out here in the pocket you know maneuver it a little better maybe step back step to the right a little bit eventually like i said dj moore is going to come wide open with all this space out in front of him to hit um to hit more on this play and also you know if you don't like that instead of panicking and, and you know bringing the ball down and running yourself into a sack let's hit one of these two shorter routes up top we got two speed outs up top and they're both open i mean they're both open they could have been thrown but again you know like i said Low snap kind of throws everything off. But again, like, hang in that pocket, man. Work that pocket a little bit and hit DJ Moore um, over the middle for that big play. Let's not run ourselves um, into a sack, you know? Better view of it here. You can see what I mean. You know, protection was good. You know, 5-0 protection, one-on-one -on -one across the board. We just, we don't have to do that. Next play here, we got the deep out to the receiver down here at the bottom of the screen. This is a really nice anticipatory throw from Justin Fields. Again, nice and accurate towards the sideline. And let's check out where he releases this ball at. So, boom, back foot hits. We're getting that thing out now. Okay, the ball is being released. The receiver is barely getting out of his break. Okay, he's, he breaks right here at the edge of the numbers. And this ball is delivered, you know, almost over halfway towards the sideline. So, again, nice anticipatory throw from Justin Fields. Accurate ball to the, to the outside shoulder or, you know, chest area. Again, not giving the defender any chance 
to make a play on this ball. Really nice job. And this play here has absolutely nothing to do with Justin Fields. And I know this is a Justin Fields video, but I got to know what in God's name are the Chicago Bears trying to do on this play? I mean, it looks like we have a pulling guard. Okay. We have a guard pulling. Maybe they're trying to simulate, you know, power or something with the play fake to the running back. We have a guard pulling. These other offensive linemen are blocking like it's a screen. Okay. So they're blocking like it's a screen because you can see, you know, they're they're heading downfield. But I don't see a receiver turn around for a ball. So I'm assuming this is really them blocking downfield for a designed quarterback run. Okay. But first of all, we have number 15 here, Trent Taylor, who is, I believe, five foot eight. He is tasked with crack blocking. Rashawn Gary, and you can see the size difference here, okay? Okay, one of the best edge rushers in the game against Trent Taylor. Not not very good uh, chances there if you're the Bears. So you got him crack blocking. You got these guys running it like a screen, and you have Justin Fields with the play action fake, okay, and having him turn his back to all this mess over here. Okay, so you're having your quarterback turn his back knowing that these guys are, you know, are, you know playing this like a screen. So they're essentially letting the defensive lineman through with your quarterback's back turned. And then, you know, by the time he even turns around to run this mess, he's got two Packers in his face. I genuinely do not know what the Chicago Bears were trying to accomplish on this football play. Next play here, third down and four Bears just running, you know, pretty much just a mesh down here with DJ Moore and this tight end. And again, nothing super special on this play, but I like Fields' patience on this play. Okay, Kenny Clark is going to beat his man um, like a drum, and he's going to be in Fields' face. And you'll see what I mean when I press play, like right there, okay? And I like the patience from Justin Fields to wait for DJ Moore to for sure beat his man, okay, and deliver an accurate ball with, again, Kenny Clark in his face. And, you know, I know it may not seem like much, right, but it, it ends up being an explosive play. And, again, what I like about it, you know, we're not seeing this defender, you know, beat our guy in our face. We're not panicking. We're not just throwing it just to throw it. We give ourselves some time, you know, work the pocket a little bit, patience, deliver the ball, explosive play. And then here is where some frustration comes in, right? So guy up top running a fade, and this is what Justin Fields is going to look at the entire way. And plays like this pop up on his tape way too much. You know, when the first guy isn't there, pulls the ball, looks to run. And he ends up getting a first down on the scramble, but we're, we're trying to see him make improvements in the passing element of the football game. So again, fade up top. We got DJ Moore kind of coming this way. He's going to be open. We got the tight end or a receiver, whatever this guy is running this post. He's going to be open. Tight end down here. He's going to be open. So basically everybody is open other than the one guy Justin Fields is looking to. So, you know, Fields, he's looking the whole way, still looking, still looking, still looking, still looking, just still looking. He's still on this thing. He almost throws it. But, you know, we got to read this leverage here, man. This isn't open. We got the DB on top of the receiver heading to the sideline. This thing, we got to scrap it like way before it gets to even this point. Okay, look down here. We got tight end coming open on the post. Got or receiver, whatever 18 is. We got, you know, tight end down here open. DJ more open. Two safe throws we can go with here. Um, but instead, we stare this fade down. It's not there, and we decide to tuck it and run it. And again, he gets the first down. He is a dynamic runner of the football. Don't get me wrong. But, like, let's hit our design passes in the middle of the field that's wide open. You know, like I said, hit either one of these guys. Hit this guy, you know. If you don't think you can fit this over the top or throw it out here, two underneath options. But I digress. You know, he pulled it, got the first down whatever, you live to see another down. All right, fourth quarter, and again, this is an example of the playmaking ability of Justin Fields. Pressured off the edge, rolls out to his left again, flips the hips and makes a fantastic throw on the run, puts it in the bucket for his tight end. Tight end takes a nasty hit. Nice job hanging on the ball for him. But again, like immediate pressure up here from the defensive end on the left, right? Immediate pressure, roll out, avoid it, keep your eyes downfield, throw a rope, explosive play, First down and huge play in the fourth quarter. Like This just shows the potential that Justin Fields has. And looking at it from this angle, I mean, look how accurate he has to be on this throw, on the run, to fit this thing in there before this guy gets to it. I mean, come on. And then we follow that brilliant play up with a play like this. And again, like this is the Justin Fields experience in a nutshell. We basically run out of a clean pocket and almost run ourselves into a sack. You know, initially he's looking for something over here. You see him give a little shoulder fake. 
You know, he's looking to the right, gives a shoulder fake. Nothing's open down there. So, again, nothing's open, so he kind of panics like he does a lot, and he's running around, and he almost runs himself into a sack. The initial pocket, beautiful. Beautiful protection. If we hang in there, hang in this pocket, make full field reads, you know, we got Trent Taylor coming open for a touchdown. If we can just hang in this clean pocket. But instead, he runs himself out of it, almost gets sacked, avoids that though. Here's the here's the here's the kicker, avoids that, rolls back to his left and delivers a dime. Okay, he puts this thing in his receiver's stomach. Now it's not caught. It would have been a touchdown. It's not caught. The receiver didn't catch it. But again, he puts it on the button, and you'll see it better from this next angle. This angle right here. I mean, check this out. Again, not there. And look at look at this would have been a touchdown for for your boy right here. All this space, but fields back to fields. Rolls back left. Watch this ball placement. I mean, come on. Like, it's it's D. Justin Fields' experience. Third down and 10. Bears are down 14-6 to six in the fourth quarter. And if you're Justin Fields, this is your last opportunity to make a case on why you should be the quarterback of the future. Why they should pass on Caleb Williams. And again, this time we leave the pocket, but we need to because there's immediate pressure. Nice job escaping the pressure. Eyes downfield. That's good, right? Got a wide open tight end. For a touchdown, and we completely just sell the pass. Just a horrific pass. Now, from what we've seen in this game, just the previous play, throw on the run, on the money. The play before that, to the tight end, on the run, on the money. But here, for a touchdown, fourth quarter, you're down against your bitter division rival, and we just completely throw a goose, and you know it's almost intercepted. We just we we got to score a touchdown here. Got to make that throw. But that is going to be the end of this video. Wherever Justin Fields goes, I hope he's given uh, the proper offensive coordinator, the proper staff to design an offense to fit his strengths. I hope he can continue to develop and turn into a you know a good quarterback because the talent is there. It's always been there. It's just a matter of the right staff around him, putting him in positions to succeed and you know helping him develop. If you enjoy this type of content, I'd appreciate you like the video, subscribe. If not, that's cool too. Just appreciate you guys watching. Peace.